do-it-yourself comic book pressing. I need your opinion and help on this. Please leave a like while the intro plays. How's it going, everybody? My name's Jordan, and welcome to Basement Collectibles. And if you like comics, toys, arcades, and movies, please consider subscribing for more great content. So in my previous video, I'll leave a link up above, I received my Ultimate Fallout 4 back and I got a lower grade that I anticipated all because I didn't press the book. So in this video, I'd like to see, um, as, as the viewer, do you guys do your own pressing in-house or do you send it off to a third party and you know what options do I have and is there anybody that would know of a, you know, a starter kit that I could use to start pressing my own books? I've been looking online, Amazon, things like that to see if there's even a you know, type of pressing machine starter kit uh, for beginners. Uh, I've never done it before. This would be my first time. You know, I, I promise I won't use the iron. But uh, again, just going on YouTube and seeing and watching the how-to videos, there'd be two real pressings that I would need to do. One, something like this. So in the first print, newsstand edition of Superman, the death of Superman, there's just a small little ripple, I guess you could say, or a bit of a small fold that could be pressed out, and I guess you could call this a quick press. Another option too that I would need to start, you know, getting more into the clean and press would be something like this, a certain age comic book that uh, would need a little bit of a clean plus a press too, which I don't think I'd want to take on myself, but down the road, if I get better at it, uh, I might practice with some other books. Another option, of course, is third-party pressing. So within my area or where I live, um, without shipping the books, I was speaking with a gentleman that actually has a small shop that he presses comic books, but it's only open a few days a week. He does it on his spare time, now with the lockdown too, and he's pretty behind. So he's about a couple months behind right now. So for me, when I'm trying to send my stuff out to CGC, once I get a certain amount that I wanna send off, I try to send it off as soon as possible just because of the wait times. Um, I've had uh, a couple books now that I've sent off and the time they come back, there's no real value to them. I'm just breaking even on the book. Again, I could wait on it and they could uh, go back up, but I really try to get the hot books out as fast as I can to make the, the most money off them or investment so I can put the money back into the hobby. And with the third party pricing as well, so it'd be about $15 per book for a clean and press. And again, with the wait time or do you guys recommend a person even in the States that uh, can do it for obviously a bit less? Plus I take the risk on shipping. So if I ship it out to them and he has to ship them or the person has to ship them back too, I run the risk as well of the books getting damaged because of postal service. Because I'm doing a lot more or buying a lot more modern books right now and trying to set up more pre-screens, I think my best option would be to invest in a comic book presser. Um, that way again, I can try to do a quick press. Practice on of course, um, uh, dollar books uh, right now to to be comfortable and trying to press it but I'm really looking to see in the comments if someone could recommend um, a pressing machine um, and what I would need again I can I'll watch more videos of the certain boards that they use and things like that but I'm really looking to see if someone can recommend what type of pressing machine I should use as a beginner and or is it just no definitely take it to a third party at least it's guaranteed uh, to do uh, to do the best job I guess you can say or do I take the risk, uh, spend some money in getting a pressing machine? So thanks for watching everybody. I'm really looking forward to the suggestions in the comments of what I should do and the recommended uh, pressers that you guys use. And again, thanks for all the new subs. I've had a lot of views on the last uh, video. Um, been enjoying all the comments, um, all the feedback too. So really looking forward to uh, making more content and I'll leave the 100th subscriber giveaway contest after this and I'm really close uh, to hitting the 100th mark which is amazing and uh, looking forward to more videos. Thanks again and have a great weekend. This is my 100th subscriber giveaway contest. The lucky winner can choose between the set of He-Man and Skeletor battle armor set or Stillwater number one in 9.8. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel and like and comment in one of my videos. I will do a randomizer once I get 100th, the 100th subscriber and from there I can ship worldwide for free. So good luck everybody.